Hey, it's Nikachu, and today we are going to take a look at MTG Pro coverage back in the 90s. Any judge today watching Pro Magic standards back then would make their eyes bleed. In this first video, we're going to look at the US National Finals between Mike Long and Matt Lindy. Try to catch how many tournament customs back then would never get practiced by the standards of competitive play today. I'd like to point out that Tive did target Mike Long. So now we're going to see some sort of two caster. I think that's a, oh, a proxy. matters okay, very so. little versus Mike what two caster it is. He goes for the shadow yeah. in case of all of Blossom. Yeah, if he checks an armor on that, if he draws a land and armors up, it's going to be hard for Mike Long to race that. Mike has a very good hand. I don't think it's going to be that hard for him to race it. Don't cast. There's a tie. The if we get him another planes into plane, they don't another cast another creature. Cast another I don't creature. think this is going to be fast enough. Long's yeah. hand is unbelievable. Yeah, does Long have the entire combo in his hand already? Is he missing Cadaver's Bloom? Let's just start out with the big elephant in the room. There are no sleeves on these cards. That means everyone's deck was completely marked. There's going to be a huge difference between the old and the new cards in multiple ways. First off, you can tell which cards have been heavily played or lightly played. Also, the backs of the cards back then had a ton of variation. Whether it was lighter or darker, you could tell what set it was from. And shuffling sleeveless, oh my god, it hurts to watch. And when presented, they only cut the deck. They don't even shuffle it themselves. Maybe it was with a unanimous agreement that, you know, all the decks are marked, so who cares? He has a natural balance um, of Vampiric Tutor, a squandered resources. Vampiric Tutor. Yep. You'll never guess what I'm gonna get. Gloom? Is he gonna tutor for Gloom, Chris? Uh, I don't know. He might just get Cadaverous Bloom. No, he gets Gloom. He gets some good Gloom. So Gloom here may just seal the fate. He already has an Emerald Charm, which would kill the Norris and Aura Silence anyway. Yeah, Gloom will keep armor off of his back and buy him at least four more, three more turns under the shadows. Where's your card? Wait, I think this is the card right here. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Can I What? That's harassment. That's harassment. Okay. So this is very much looking like Mike Long is going to be U.S. national champion. <laughs> so good! God. Gloom. So there's Gloom. <laughs> He's done. All right, Lindy needs some planes fast. Grant Lindy is someone in a position of just happy to be here, so you can tell yeah. he's not very upset at losing, but... Uh... There's one planes. So worried you could come out. I just hit you for I've never heard a pro player use so much playful banter as they're tutoring for the hoser card against their opponent. Tutor. Yep. You'll never guess what I'm gonna get. Are we gonna forget that Mike Long just vampiric tutored a card directly into his hand? I mean, when it touches the hand these days, that's a big no-no. I have no idea how a judge would fix that. But a team of them were watching, so maybe they let it slide. Why is Mike Long allowed to stand on top of his chair? Can't he see his opponent's cards from that height? I mean, you can see his feet on coverage. Smash like for feet picks. The crowd thought the game was over. We thought the game was over. Mike Long thought the game was over. I think Mike Long needs to borrow the pen again. <laughs> Some bad. Write it all over his forest. Did Mike Long leave green in his pool? Okay, so all he has to do is advance him in response to the first spell that he yeah, has. Yeah, it's advance in response meditate, to anything. Which is probably meditate. He better do it, though. That's the question. He still has to do it. I think he, I think he knows. Um, if he doesn't, if he doesn't advance him, I will personally Jason Gordon, Crush him. Jason Gordon did not counterspell. Wait, up oh, there it is. He says, it "Stop! Comes. Here it comes! Here it comes!" Better. Happy me... birthday, Mike! Good game! Oh! 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 And we're going to game five. By the way, Long, should you really be staring at your deck while you're shuffling it? In an earlier match against John Finkel, he's just shuffling the deck face up to himself. Well, turns with whispers and Ophidian going. It's... Yeah, it's ugly. 
so funny how Mono Blue is so powerless against City of Solitude, though. Well, that's, I, that's the point of the card. Yeah. I mean, that's the essence of what it's meant to do. Finkel had that turn, and we said that was the, that's exactly what he didn't need to happen. It's exactly what did happen. But back then, Mike Long was quite the ambassador for the game. So let's hear what he has to say about magic. Mike Long has definite ideas about magic. Mike Long. I prefer Michael Long. Magic has uh, unlimited potential. It's it's the most amazing game that's ever been created. Um, the possibilities are limitless. I'm planning on winning it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the finals and I'm gonna play my very very best. As long as my draws come up all right, I should get a decent chance. Future holds I don't know, nothing but great things. I mean, magic is gonna be the biggest thing in the world. Kids everywhere should play this game. It's a great game. It's a smart game. Gets them away from the TV. Gets them thinking. It'll be huge. I can't imagine Wizards of the Coast using B-roll like this anymore. Today, Magic is marketed as a social community-based game. But back then, if you played Magic, you could one day be someone like Mike Long, who plays Magic by himself, alone, in the middle of nowhere. This next clip is not for the faint of heart. We've got Bob Maher playing Band Control in Extended. Let's take a look. And for instance, he's gonna have to use a Contagion on this Spike Feeder. Or he's got another spin, I mean. Or a spin. You probably would want to use Contagion because there's no way the spin would gain him any life. True. Of course, you might as well wait for Bob to draw a card to give Bob the opportunity to draw a counter spell, right? right? Yeah, I think he probably wants to get the counter magic out of his hand. Although, I mean... Now, I know those cards back then weren't worth the thousands of dollars that they are today, but now you know why so many of them are in such beat-up condition. Brian Davis does clearly look rattled right here. He's looking down, thinking, Ritual, Necro, after an Unmask, how is that not enough? And by the way, it's not clear that he should have conceded that game to the Null Rod. He still had two Skittering Scourges left in his library. That and remember, back then, they only cut the deck. If you knew the backs of Magic cards well enough, you could stack a particular card on top. That's broken! So playing with a marked deck can be a double-edged strategy. Shout out to the teddy bear Bob brought to the Pro Tour. In this next clip, we're going to take a look at Mark Justice versus Mike Long in the finals of Pro Tour Paris. Seems like you're really lucky. <laughs> so Mike Long is down to six, uh, 16, and Mark Justice is at 20. Go ahead. <clears throat> Surprise. Maybe tomorrow. So Judge, he's being a jerk. Wait, am I 12? No. Oh, God. <laughs> am I 16? 17. Okay. Done hack? Okay, I bought my dice. As easily illustrated in this video, we shouldn't be recording our life totals with dice. You can easily knock it and either gain or lose a ton of life points. And back then, they're not even keeping track of their opponent's life total. I don't know what the rules are in regards to being annoying, but there appears to be a lot more of that back then than there is today. Watching these old Pro Tour matches really makes you appreciate how far this game has come. Well, that's our video for today. Let me know what you think are the biggest differences for Pro Magic between the past and present. Smash like for card sleeves, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, or your next FNM will be in some parking lot.